is a three quarter inch anvil tool. Here we also concentrate on safety. We introduced an e-spring to go with the tool. This helps keep the socket on. A lot of guys are actually using a wire or something inside here, which can be a hazard with gloves or hands if you're holding your fastener in your hand like so. The tool is rated at 598 foot-pounds of torque. There's actually no standard for measuring an impact wrench torque in the market. So this is one of the lower values on the market, and I want to make a point out of that. We've designed the tool to fasten grade A325 structural bolts, one inch, three quarter. These are common sizes that contractors will install. If you have too much performance, you can actually uh, damage or break those fasteners in the application. Too little, you don't bring the fastener up to the proper tension. The tool was designed to develop tension in an A325 bolt, and I'm going to demonstrate that with our Skidmore Wilhelm. This is a tool that steel erectors will use to verify the condition of the bolts and that they're good to install in a project. A A325 bolt, three quarter inch, needs about 28,000 to 30,000 foot-pounds of tension to be installed at the correct level. I'll use the tool. Socket is about to stop moving. It's moving slightly. You can see that we have well over 30,000 foot-pounds of tension on the bolt. So designing a tool with the application in mind to give a customer reliability, productivity, that's what we've done. We get that amount of performance through our unique feature, a double hammer mechanism in the front. So motor is in the front of the back of the tool. Up here is a transmission, basically. And this is a model of what that looks like. You've got the anvil in the front. It actually has another part that we call an anvil in the back. And if you watch as I turn this slowly, there's a single hammer on the inside that spins, engages the spring, picks up a second hammer that now brings that mass into impacting. What that does is to give us a longer lifetime tool. If I'm using the motor to drive the small hammer, using the spring to pick up the second hammer, I'm not stressing that motor as much. I'm not drawing as much energy out of the battery. That gives us a longer lasting product, gives your customer more work for charge. Ready?